What a scene, man. What an emotional climax to that movie. Hoosiers, dude. One of the greatest basketball movies of all time. It just taught me so much about life and basketball all at the same time. I mean, I cannot tell you how many times with my basketball games on the line, I tried running slow motion around a pick on the top of the key to shoot a mid-range jumper. I mean, I can't see how that play wouldn't work. Mid-range -mid jumper. That's just genius. What ingenious coaching by Dennis Hopper there, taking over for Gene Hackman. Amazing story. Now, in reality, watching that movie or those scenes, that, that movie's pretty outdated, I'm not gonna lie. But for some reason, I think myself and a lot of people associate Indiana basketball with the movie Hoosiers and not much else. And maybe that's wrong. Because, of course, today we're looking at the all-time Pacers team, and the Indiana Pacers have had a pretty interesting history. I mean, they won three ABA championships in the early 70s before coming over to the NBA. They were, of course, mixed up in the unfortunate malice at the Palace incident in the 2000s, Ron our test, Steven Jackson, etc. And then they had some pretty good teams in the 2010s that went up against LeBron and lost, but they've never been able to get over, win a championship in the NBA. They've had a lot of really elite players over their time, but just haven't put it together. On the bright side, however, the all-time Pacers team, trust me, it's looking pretty ferocious. Target neutralized. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I promised you, man, Pacers fans, what's up? This team is loaded. I know I say that basically every one of these teams, but this one especially, a lot of cards I really like and really good balance. This team's it. It really is. Now, just before we get into breaking down the lineup, let me just say I'm recording this video a bit in advance of when you're seeing it. So there might be some new cards released, but I doubt it because most of the cards in this lineup are already studly, but just keep that in mind. At point guard, we've got Jalen Rose. He was on that team in 2000 yeah 2000 they lost to the lakers a left-handed six foot eight point guard this card should low-key be like really really good at shooting guard small forward we have a dynamic duel of paul george six nine shooting guard and danny granger six nine small forward like this team this backcourt and paul george danny this could be literally comp like i could go 12 and 0 with just these three cards yeah it's impressive of course paul george had a really good run with the pacer so did danny granger although injuries kind of cut it short the front court, we've got current day Miles Turner and Demanis Sabonis holding it down. I like it. Both guys can shoot. Off the bench, one of my favorite cards all year, Lance Stevenson. Of course, he of the blowing in LeBron James ear. We have another current dayer in Victor Oladipo off the bench. The aforementioned Steven Jackson making an appearance back in Indiana. One card that definitely should have a better version. Maybe he will by the time this video drops. Uh, Pink Diamond Evo Jermaine O'Neal. With his Pink Diamond Evo, he's still super outdated and he was amazing. Amazing. He was a beast in the 2000s with Indiana. We've got another one of my favorite cards this year, Rick Smith. Love using this dude. Great head of hair right there. And off the end of the bench, George Hill, Chuck Person, Roy Hibbert, the all-time Pacers team. Try and tell me this one isn't fire. Like, there is no way I take an L with this team. We have, like, really good roster construction. We have big point guards. We have big men who can shoot. No weaknesses, man. I need to take a W right here. Pressure's on me now. Oh, opponent with a pretty good looking team. He's got Paul George. Point guard Giannis. Yeah, this is going to be tough, but I think I can do it. And I completely forgot to mention, so I'll say it now. But of course, shout out to Reggie Miller, the greatest pacer of all time, but isn't in 2K. It's always too bad. Also, Ron Artest, he definitely would have been on this team for his time with the Pacers. But again, not in the game. So too bad. This dude really just spent an hour on his settings. I am intimidated. Oh my. And he's dunking on me first possession. Like... Why is that how we start this game, 2K? Oh, you're leaving Danny Granger wide open. Okay, not really sure what that defense was, but I'll get on the board and be happy about it. Paul George gets semi-open and brick the shot. Yeah, that wasn't a great shot, but he could have hit it. Moving with Wiseman. 2K, why does he make that shot? That's so annoying. Let's get a rim run in here with Paul George. Get, get out of the way, Jalen Rose. Uh, okay, Jalen Rose didn't get out of the way, but he's gonna finish. There we go. Now. Let me try and play some defense and just be smart here. There we go, PG. That was a pretty bad release, I'll admit it, but 
Wide open, you know that boy's gonna hit it. Perfect. See, we're in this game. Horrible start, but here we are. Because I know Paul George is handling... Oh, that's right. Jay Canada got some stick skills now. Right around the screen to the pull-up three. Oh, good steal. Yeah, yeah. What's Jalen's jumper looking like? Oh, it's looking like money. Woohoo! Now, what a turnaround, boys. This was such a bad start, but just like that... Oh, no, he's gonna hit that. Moving shot threes are my least favorite thing in the world. Oh, my word. Paul George is just eating this Kawhi Leonard alive. Wow. Miles Turner, little mid-range fadeaway. Finally, someone other than Paul George does something. Uh, get back. Get back. Dude, Tango down. this man has scored the same way every time. Just full court pass and moving shot. I mean, if I could eventually stop that, I win this game. Hopefully I can because it's kind of causing me some problems right now. All right, bench, let's go. I think we'll still have trouble playing defense with the bench, but offensively, we, we should be good. What? Jermaine, selling me with the illegal screen, bro? Come on, Jermaine. Come on, baby. I mean, free throws are cool, too. This Jermaine is going to be tough to use. I'm so mad they don't have a better version of this man. But he's on the board with one point. I'll take it. That's a good look for Victor Oladipo. See right there? I got to hit that shot. I really, I really, really do. And foul. Darn it, Bench. Come on. No. no. What? Why would you pick up your dribble right there? Kick out. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I don't know what's going on in Jay Canada's head right now, but it's not processing the game of 2K properly. Let's go. Another one, Steven Jackson. Another one. That was a bailout from 2K because I did not green that at all. Thank you, man. Now it's just the defense. I guess I could bring my starters back in or better defensively with them. Man, I'm, I'm getting upset with myself here. Like that, man, I don't, mm, I don't know what to say. Oh, there we go, Paul George. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful stop. Oh, that was supposed to be a pop three. But that's the beginning of the run with the starters. Six-point game. Let's go third quarter. Oh, wait, hold on. We can't go to the third quarter yet. We get a block on one end. We get a Jalen Rose three on the other. These starters are crazy, man. Oh, my word. This Jalen Rose card is unreal. <laughs> I'm just greening everything. Good finish inside now, Jalen Rose. Mans is doing everything. Three-point lead. Good defense right there. Danny Granger, beautiful. Oh, yeah, this is a three. This is a three in transition, boy. Oh, I missed it. What? <laughs> Give me the cheese. Moving shot three in transition. It's about time I take advantage of that myself. So bonus in the corner, horrible release. Man, this is a battle. I'm not going to lie. This is a fun game to play. I got to lock in, though, here. Perfect. Oh my goodness, Jalen Rose. I can't believe how good this card is. Like, uh, this is unbelievable. Boys, here we are in the fourth quarter. I have a one point lead. If I lose this game, I'm going to be heated. Neither of us can stop each other. Like, this man is scoring at will against me, especially my bench. But as long as I get the last basket, that's all that counts. Now, I need my bench in here for a few more minutes just to get my starters rested. But this is kind of a problem. Oh, that's good. I'm standing right in front of him, and he just moves my player out of... <laughs> oh my, I was in good defensive position there. Boys, I'm getting very upset. Oh my goodness, but look, like, this is just weird. There is just zero defense being played. Like, neither of us know... Oh my goodness, that's bad. Get back, get back. Yes, yes, okay. Lance Stevenson to the rim. Whew, good finish, Lance. You rarely see just, like, a nice layup finish in this game, uh, but I'll take it for sure. Oh, good defense. Good defense. Jermaine O'Neal. Wow. I was saying how this card wasn't going to be good. He got in the passing lanes. If you get this jump ball, Jermaine, you have served us a great, a great deal this video. Come on. Yes, sir. Great play. Oh, wait a minute. Did he just go into, he just went into his zone. Rick Smith's going to make you pay. Rick Smith's going to make you pay from deep. Okay, now let me foul. Starters coming in. Bench did their job, okay? I need to, this game's on me to win now. Give me that steal. How dare you run that play on me? How dare you? Okay, chill out. Chill out. Miles Turner wide open. I don't know your jumper. And I'm not sure why you're taking a two, but it's good. And I'll take that steal. He's been doing that all game too. I read it. Paul George. Dagger. Let's go, baby. This Pacers team is goaded. And I'm actually just balling out today. Look at Sabonis. 
I played, I was just hammering on the jump button right there and it actually worked. You love to see it. Paul George going for 40. Come on now. Man, what a game right there, ladies and gentlemen. Zero defense was played the entire game. 104 points I scored. I was 24 of 38 from three. That is unbelievable. Like the amount of threes I took and the volume and the percentage of which I hit them at. Like, I don't even know what to say. That's crazy. This dude definitely just melted down in the fourth quarter. Like we were, we were deadly even. And then he just played stupid and I won. Simple as that. And as predicted, our big three of Jalen Rose, Paul George, and Danny Granger. I mean, we killed it. Danny Granger Ranger shot five of 10, but the other two were just on point. Paul George had seven steals. He kept throwing that baited like half court pass trying to get the moving shots. <laughs> what a game, man. This Paul George card is so good. Jalen Rose, I'm blown away. Definitely the unsung hero of this video. Rick Smiths was cool too. My bench, they kind of got work there. They were a minus 10, but it's all good, man. Everybody helped out. Sabonis, three, six, and three. What a fun stat line. I love when I win with these all-time team, man. I love when I win with these all-time teams, man. Like, it feels really good. Shout out to Pacers fans out there. I'm glad I could do you proud there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Got plenty more all-time teams coming this summer. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Uh, if you're new, make sure not to miss the next episode. But that's all I got for this one. I'm Jay Canada. I'll see you in the next one.